Hi guys, this is Felix Kinunia. So last week, last video we have seen how to create JQ grid and passing the values from controller to view. So now we will see about how to create the crude application in JQ grid. So, so we have already know about that our application. So first I am opening my applications. So these these things are we have finished in last videos. So now I am going to add edit and delete so this option this is like a crude applications so now we will start our crude application so first I'm going to the index page so in this index page these are the things I have worked in homeworks so this is like I have commanded it first of all first of all we need to add pager so then only it will be uh, you can add it in add delete and something like this so first I'm going to put dot maybe dead kit then this is for pagers then this is for adding edit delete and absence once whether it is uh, using true or false so next one is for edit then add then delete so first here here in this application here I'm using the pager ID is page so I have to put here I'm using ID so I'm putting ash and the page so next is I have to add edit add delete so delete option so three, three these three options I need to add so I am here I am putting edit I need edit option so I put true then add true then delete so I need the, the, these three options so I have added these things here there are some categories are there if you want to add search you can add it like true then we need a refresh once the grid is loaded then it will be refresh so here First one is edit. So next, <coughs> second one is add. Then third one. This is for delete. Okay. So first we need to add the values. So here this add option I can put URL so here I am using test controller so I put test controller and then I need to add the value so I can put the method name is add user object because we have already used user details so I'm using details class so I need to add a user details class values so that's why I'm putting here like this before you can slash after I add the URL I need to close the pop-up I mean add pop-up once the app pop-up is loaded so I need to add close after add that's true also I'm using this the pop-up will be closed after the details is added so now I'm going to Add this method in our controller. So I have already used test controller. So I'm going there, and then I need to put the method name. I'm using void. There is no return type, so I'm using void. So here I need to get the value user object. So user details for for user details object user details so us i have put object name is us okay so now we need to add the values so 
so first we need to exclude the ID so we don't need the ID values in here so I'm just putting try and add double tab so now it will display like this then here I'm going to add the values so first I need to add the object so through this object only we can add the user object value user details values so I am just copying this object and I'm just to paste it here and then I have already added user details classes so I'm just putting user details object dot add see these things are available in context class see this is this is the things so this is the object I use it here so now I'm going to add this object so I'm using this add object I'm using colon then I need to save this object the, 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 this line is using to add the object and then now I need to save the object so I'm just putting check that save changes so that's all so this is the code for adding the values so here I'm putting a line first we'll add details user details so you run the solution so now our, our application is open so now I'm going to add test test is my controller name and index is my third name so I have entered so now this page will be redirected into our jQuery grid page so this is our jQuery grid page see these things we have added in pages so add edit and delete this is for finding search this is for refresh so this is the page this so first I now we have added add method so click I am clicking this add so I have put or or so then yum, yum. see here I have already shown one, two, three, four, four records. So now I, I am adding to add these details. So it will display five. So I have put submit. Here I put F9 and that means deep occur. So the control will be like here. The cursor will be coming here. Then I am putting F10, F10, F10. Just running the solution. So here, these details are added like this. So this is the simple way to add values from jQuery through the jQuery. So guys, next we will go to edit. So before we click this one, we need to add methods in our index page. So first I will stop the my solution then I'm going to edit which so please be sure first one is a edit and the next one is add then third one is delete please don't change these details if you change this the grid will not open or the grid will be display the errors so here I'm going to put the same URL like this But this time I'm going to edit the values so I have put edit here. Then I need to close my pop up. After edit, so now once the pop up is open, the edit values will be edited, then it will be automatically closed. Here I'm going to create the method this method in our controller. So I'm going to the controller and I need to put public void that put method name I like this. 
here I'm getting values from JK create user details here I put a user object we create the object for this user detail class and I'm going to try press double time in tab so it will be display like this So next one is we go to this page. I'm using object 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 dot see entry we need to add Once again, I think I put wrong. First here I'm using you object. Okay, so here I need to copy this object, paste it here dot entity dot state equal to. For second, for second, we will put object like this. So next, entity, entity state dot modified. So now the value has been modified. Then we need to save the changes. So I have saved the changes. So here I'm putting F9 debugger. So I have already added edit up edit URL and then close after edit details. So now I'm going to run the solution. So I have run the solution. It's going on. So the application is open. So now I'm going to put my controller name and then my method name so it will be redirected in that page so here I'm going to edit the details so I I need to edit or 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 so I just click that and then put edit option so this will value has be displayed like this so here I'm going to add Q so and here I'm going to add double so now I put the submit. So here I have put already in F9 and that means a debugger. So it will be like this. So the one here these are the values. So here I'm putting F10, F10, F10. Now the object has been changed like this. So this is the edit option. So it is also very useful for that. Useful for, for us. So next we need to delete the values so first we have seen add and edit now we need to add delete options so first so I'm going to the add the delete option so first I have stop my solution and then I'm going to the index page in this here I'm putting the same details URL Test is my controller name, and then this time I'm going to delete the details, so I'm just putting delete user details. So here we need to close. Close the pop-up. So now I'm just copying this and I need to create the method in my controller. So it is public void the method name. Then I will get the ID. So I'm just put int just ID. So based on this ID. I need to delete the options. So 
if I could try double tap so it will be displayed like this here I'm going to first to find the IDs then next I need to delete the IDs first we need to find the IDs so so I need to delete the records in user details so I'm just first add the user detail class and I have add object for the particular class then check dot dot find find the ID so here I'm putting ID after that just see check dot object dot remove the particular object so here we put the object name now I need to add the save the changes that's all these are the things these are the three lines used to delete the object the first one is to find the values based on IDs so once they get the object values then we need to remove the values from the particular object so now these are the changes need to add in this line so that's all so before we run the solution we need to go to the index page and need to put the key true for the ID if you didn't put this key true it will automatically add this is the first ID first ID is one two three so if you if you avoid these things you just put the key tree so now if you are using these key tree events key true means these things only coming in this one so here I'm putting f9 now I am not the solution so you no need this one just to close it so now the solution is open so now I am going to put test sorry index so now we will go to the particular page so now I need to delete k k k so I'm just click this it will it will ask delete selected records yes I'm just delete it so it will come here and just here in the find the object values so this is my nine ID number and these are this object so now here I'm removing this and then I have changed the details so now I have put the run now the details will be deleted so I will do it one more time I'm just click this just click the edit the delete option just put the delete some of the values will be deleted so these two things if you want find any values you can just click here and then you can switch it based on this we can find the values so this is for a refresh if you click this one the jacket will refresh so guys I hope this video is very useful for you so we will see you next video using date pickers because I have already I have struggled a lot in date pickers so next video we will discuss about how to add the date pickers and how to add future how to remove the future date and how to uh, use between dates so these things you will see you in the next videos and thank you guys thank you for watching this video Thank you.